Hey, it's John again to play Immaculate Grid, going for the low time, going for the low rarity score, and playing grid number 457. And I will get 456 uh, up as well. But uh, for 457, was looking for a good number there. I came up with uh, Manny Ramirez in the 2000 season, had a 457 on base percentage, which is obviously a really good number. Uh, that was the year before he signed uh, with the Red Sox. It was his final year in Cleveland. He, uh, he had 38 home runs and 122 RBI that year uh, to go along with leading the league in slugging percentage. He had a 697 slugging percentage. But uh, what's really wild is he drove in 122 runs and had 38 home runs in just 118 games. Um, so, yeah, he got a big deal. That's uh, that's how that works, even if you miss some time. So let's uh, let's get going. I'm going to share the screen and... Had a little restart, so I'll do uh, play now. I'll hit go, and away we go. All right, so that's uh, let's see, Ellis Burks. That one, let's get Octavio Dotel. He hits both teams. Larry Walker will take 60 plus percent. Oh, just 26. Uh, let's see here, how about a uh, Joe Carter? Final season in the big leagues. Bobby Bonilla, his day was yesterday, 13%. Then in uh, right field, how about Mark Hakis? All right, and then we need a left fielder. Barry Bonds played left field. And left fielder over here, how about Ricky Henderson? And I'm going to go with Jeff Jenkins for a guy that's played both. And I get an 85. Corner outfield combo. That's an interesting one. Uh, I want Jenkins because he moved over to right field when the Brewers acquired Carlos Lee in a trade for Scott Pesednik. So that uh, that's what saw him moving over. Lots of options there. Jenkins taking 0.1%. But he was the name that happened to come to mind. So, um, yeah. Interesting, uh, interesting numbers, I guess. Boney at 13, is he the, the highest? That's good. He deserves it on his day. Walker's the highest there. Mike Hampton rocking 28%. Only played the one year for the Mets. In fact, that was, I, I believe, uh, cutting Bonia freed up the capital to go sign Mike Hampton, if I recall correctly. Um, Bryant, no surprises there. Bonds, so I got three of the highest ones just down the diagonal there. All right, cool. I'm going to hit, uh, hit stop on that one. And we can stop share and reshare. Find that one. All right, let's see here. Let's hit play. I know how to play Immaculate Grid. And away we go. All right, so where to draw my focus first? Uh, I think down here, Brian McRae is still a strongish choice. Takes point two. Get rid of this ad, it's annoying. All right, um, let's see, right field. I don't want to use Jeffrey Hammonds. What about up here? We go, uh, how about Daryl Hamilton up here? Oh, no, you know what? Let's go Jamie Wright. Let's get him. Point two as well. He's starting to creep up a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I think we decided Bill Hall played for both of these teams. Also takes point two. This is starting to seem suspicious. That seems too high in some places, too low. I wonder if they're all just going to be point two. Uh, in which case, I would question that. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Francisco Rodriguez will work. For both these teams, the Orioles and Mets. Um, 
else. It's not a Mike Cameron combination. Like Andy Chavez's one catch is gonna play pretty well over here. Yeah, Bernard Gilkey maybe. Um wouldn't surprise me maybe a Roger Sedanio option would work. Ooh, how about for this one? I'm gonna go with my guy Dave Nilsson. Because he's a brewer and an Australian. I'm a quarter Australian, fun fact. Ah, that's a nice low percentage. All right. I'm thinking Monty Irvin here. Because I know he I th I'm I'm very sure he played left field on the 51 Giants. And then right field for the Rockies. I mean, you get Bichette for a number of years. Walker gets in there. Maybe Burks. Um, after Walker, that's pretty much Brad Hop territory. Um, what about Alex Ochoa? I know he played for the Rockies, and I know he played some right field. So nice. Um, and over here, I think I will play Jeffrey Hammonds, who also played for the Rockies. He goes sub one. All right, I haven't come up with anyone better than Francisco Rodriguez. Left field, I, I, Cleon Jones comes to mind in left field. Maybe OG Frank Thomas. I know he played a little bit of outfield and a little bit of first base, or a lot of both, really. Let's let's try him out. Let's get the right guy. Point three. Um, and then yeah, that just leaves Orioles and Mets. Roberto Alomar works. So we we did Bonilla, get Alomar. K Rod is definitely works. Todd Zeal works. I think he'll work better than K Rod. Just under 1%. So, rarity of three. I'll take it. That's pretty good. Um, and I got in under a minute. So, all in all, very successful. I will call that good and stop it right there. And thank you very much for playing. I'll get 456 uploaded uh, as well. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. All right, now. Peace.